Now, bottled water. Do you drink it? 56 million Americans say it's the only water they drink. Many think it's healthier than tap water, but that is a myth. Several times I've taken bottled water and tap water to a lab for testing, and no lab ever found that the bottled water was superior. Even the International Bottled Water Association will not publicly state that bottled water is healthier. Now, some people swear that bottled water tastes better, and in a few parts of the country, I'm sure it does. Your tap water may be lousy, but I've done taste tests at least five times, and every time tap water beat most of the bottled water. Some people would say, oh, I hated sample C, and that would turn out to be their favorite bottled water. And in fact, on the blind test, they prefer the tap water. The truth is that bottled water is basically a marketing scheme, and you're a sucker if you buy it. In fact, several of these, like Dasani and Aquafina, are just refiltered tap water. Aquafina, Aquafina gets some of, its money, some of its water from the Detroit River. A new movie called Tapped talks about the stupidity of bottled water, and please welcome its director, Stephanie Sotik. Thank you. So, Stephanie, we agree on these things I've mentioned, but one reason you're here tonight is that you called me after I talked about your movie on the O'Reilly Factor. I said that some of her movie was ridiculous, and it has scaremongers talking about the plastic that the water comes in associated with diabetes, brain disorders, liver disease, cancer, low sperm count in men. This is nonsense. This stuff has been studied to death. But what, isn't it true, it's though? It's better. These do are you, silly lefties who you, attack industry. So, are you a silly lefty? You said on the phone when you called the producer that I had my facts wrong. You, were, he, you wouldn't tell him what facts. You said you had a your ace card you were going to reveal if we put you on TV. So well, no, here's not, your shot. Not an ace card, but I thought you were misguided about many things. First of all, to call me a silly lefty. I worked for Bill O'Reilly for three years. He hardly has lefties on his staff. I bet he does. No, he doesn't. I would say I'm very independent. I also worked at, at our mutual organization 2020 for several so years. So you reminded me. So I would say that my journalistic background would credit that me. That could make me. you a lefty, though, since you worked for ABC. Maybe, but then I did. I did, silly one, though. I did O'Reilly next. But I was concerned about a couple things you said. The first point was that you said that we weren't running out of clean drinking water. And that frightens me because by the year 2030, the UN estimates that two-thirds of us will lack access to clean drinking water. Well, your movie begins with that, two-thirds of the world. So we checked with the UN. They don't say that. I called the UN. They say 47% will live in areas of high water access. So the 2030 set is so, from I'm the sorry, United high water Nations. stress. Yes, high water stress. So I called the United Nations because I said, you know, John has this stat and also I think something from the World Health Organization arguing that right. more people have water. A billion more people got fresh water as we got richer over the past 10, 15 years. They were concerned that you were slightly misguided and that they actually say currently 1.1 billion people lack access to clean drinking water every 15 seconds. Because they're poor. Because they're poor every, and because we're running out of clean drinking water. There's only 1% of the Earth's water that's drinkable. And we are running out of clean drinking water. And this but is something that business needs to be... that brings it to us. You criticize the plastic in the bottle. Yes. You say it's killing people. Where are the bodies? We're living longer than ever. We use more of these plastics. We're living longer than ever, but you're also seeing rates of cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, all cancers that have to do with the endocrine system. We're seeing higher rates of those cancer. No, we're not. They're totally flat. They're more people totally live long flat. enough to get cancer, but They're the incidence is not going up. They're absolutely going up. Every scientist will tell you that we're seeing the endocrine-related can cancers. And for those of you that don't know what that means is, is, is hormone-related cancers, right? So breast, prostate, colon. And that's because our concern is that these plastics are leaching. The, the smaller bottles are leaching something called phthalates. And not only are we seeing this rise in, in cancers, but we're also seeing that studies that show babies exposed to phthalates have developmental the abnormalities. Rubber duckies supposedly are hurting the babies. But other scientists have been unable to duplicate these tests, and they're exposed to tiny amounts. Well, t the problem is, is that next, tiny amounts may just be the problem. Now that science is evolving and we're able to detect the effects of smaller doses, we're seeing that the effects are worse than what we thought we were. Well, wait a second. We're detecting these chemicals mm -hmm. in everything. 
but we're not seeing that the effects are worse. But we we're are. living longer, Look, healthier you, lives. You have this article here from Time I Magazine. I do. The, the press is on your side. Eight pages in Time Magazine. The perils of plastic, and they show these sad children. I'm so surprised you disagree with me, though, because based on your political stance, I mean, I'm advocating for consumer responsibility. I'm saying there's enough tests out there right now that are showing that there may be a problem with this. There's enough to make us worry. And so I'm saying just be an educated consumer. Make sure you look at these things before you buy. But we don't agree because I think we ought to worry about the big stuff, like driving drunk or just driving at night in the rain. And if you tell people to worry about silly things, they can't uh, focus on the big stuff. Running out of water is silly? You, well, uh, we're running out, of running out of... Your movie has these pictures of dried earth mm -hmm. and dead fish. Yep. But bottled water companies use a fraction of what golf courses use. It's true, but they're using them from very specific areas, and that's the problem. So when you look at Atlanta, which was almost brought to a halt in 2007 because they were running out of water, and then you it have... It didn't rain for weeks. But then you have a company that continues to pump millions of gallons of water from that spot. So you have a drought. We've had 30, 35 states suffered from droughts in this country. Well, if Atlanta was threatened by water, its little bottled water company, wouldn't they have shut them down? You would think, but they're, in, you know, they're getting big money in, into the government, and so they're not. But when you see the areas that this water is being pumped, and actually I got a lot of calls from people in the film that live in the towns where this bottled water is being pumped, and they were really upset that you would undermine the struggle that they're going through, that they're not allowed to wash their cars, and they're not allowed to take long showers or do the things that they want to do with water because they're running out of water. And yet these multinational, often foreign corporations are coming in and pumping their water and selling it back to them for 2,000 times the cost. Well, I think it's okay. And one third of people in Fiji are dying from water-related illnesses. Come on, I want you to use this platform. This is so important. Well, I've given you the platform, but enough. I think it's a myth.